Hello, it's me, your creepy Uncle Game Boy, and I'm here playing Resident Evil 2 for the second time. I tried playing this a little while ago, and it was quite, you know, it was quite a harrowing experience. I, I didn't really know what to expect from this game, and I feel like I do now, so, um, or at least I have a better idea of what it is. Like, you know, these zombies are hard to, very hard to kill. I don't think the game is really trying to incentivize me to try to kill everything, so I'm not going to do that. I, my, my, my bowels are empty, my urethra is closed pinned I think I am ready to attempt this once more. Forging ahead through the zombie-infested streets, Leon finally arrives at the Raccoon Police Department, but even here, it is no longer safe. Looking for any signs of life, he begins his exploration of the station. Okay, well, I don't have anything for that. I think I recall the, that being a th does he just walk like this the whole time? Just put the gun away. Put it away. How do you disarm? Uh, what? Hmm, okay. Uh, whatever, okay. And run is, yeah, okay. Alright, well, let's see what's going on here. <clears throat> Computer, analyze. Not good. Oh, this movie's cool. Sorry if it's like comes over through this. It's like I, I'm, you know, this is a real janky setup I got here. So, it sounds like shit. I'm sorry. No one's gonna watch this anyway. So, I gotta find that guy. It's one thing that's always disturbed me about zombie fiction is it has a sort of like it generally has a sort of like quasi scientific basis to it. And as a kid, that always made me think. Well, you know, like. What if they, like, you know, someone engineers a zombie virus? I, I'm comforted by this sort of, like, you know, as I understand it with my really dumb brain, the, you know, biological impossibility of the dead coming back to life. And even if that were possible, you know, why on earth would they be anything like this? Like, why would they be, like, why would they be stronger, you know? Like it's it's sort of like the mummy. It's like you know if the like when I remember when I watched the mummy, I was like, it's kind of, I feel like it's hard to be afraid of the mummy because the mummy's like uh, rotund archaeologists have to be careful about how they handle a mummy so that it doesn't just fall apart. You know, like the thing is like thousands of years old. Like I don't think it's gonna do, I don't think it's gonna be like able to hurt me really. There's various things like that in like horror fiction where it's like, you know, I don't know. Green herb, don't mind if I do. Um, oh, pick it up, dummy. Um, whether or not the thing could, like, realistically hurt you, I feel like is sort of a, you know, factor. And Christ alive, there are a lot of puzzles in this. Um, whether or not a horror thing is, like, potentially scary or not. Like, Chucky's, Chucky's too small to be scary. I'm sorry, but, like, I, I just, he's a doll. The mummy is, like, you know, you know very old wrappings and a decrepit body it's like maybe having that rationalization about zombies similarly made me more comfortable with it because i was like legit terrified by zombies for like a while it's 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 embarrassing anyway guide pamphlet pa pamphlet pamphlet enjoy your life travel today welcome to raccoon city did you know, while we are the home of the pharmaceutical giant Umbrella Corporation, Raccoon City is a vibrant and dynamic city with a long, rich history of its own. In this guide, we'll introduce you to just a few of the more unusual points of interest our city has to offer. The building in the center of town wasn't always a police station. In fact, it used to be an art museum. Various features like the unusual clock tower and the goddess statue in the main hall remind us of a bygone era. Right, so that's the explanation for why there's all this kookadoo shit in here, is it used to be an art museum. And there's my kitty Heidi. Heidi, come on, Bubba. Alright, what else is in the pamphlet? Orphanage! Just a few blocks from the police station is an orphanage founded and run by the Umbrella Corporation. And that's not suspicious at all. A orphanage run by a pharmaceutical corporation. You know, it, that, sounds, that sounds like on its face unsavory. Um, something you might want to like disguise from the public rather than advertise uh with the help of a generous don of of generous donations from business and citizens alike the building is known for its stained glass window which attracts visitors from around the world so this is just sort of a justification guide for all of the uh you know insane shit in the in the infrastructure of this town 
Because I, I know if I, like, if these things were in my local police station, I'd be like, you guys are uh, up to something nefarious. There's like, there's like some, like, weird satanic cult crap happening here or something. Like, why do you have, like, a puzzle door? Like, what are these, what are all these weird cryptic keys? Like, what are you, what are you guys, what are you guys up to here? I have no fucking clue what to do right now. I, I was really worried about this, and I was just, like, gonna get lost immediately. And that's what's going on right now. I... Oh god, okay, well... I feel like all the other doors are locked. There's... Alright. Okay. Bird. Ram. Snake. Eel. Ram. Fish. Ah! I believe these are the signs of the Zodiac. Wait, no, they're not. There's no snake. <laughs> I'm a, a, a snake. I was born in June. Late June. Fuck, I really don't know what to do. Oh, I do have a key. Okay. I forgot I had a key. So there's gotta be a key, key, key thing somewhere. As, as anyone, I'm sure, listening to this can... Uh, suspect I am not a sound engineer. I am not a anything. I have no like no real clue what I'm doing. So I again I apologize if there's a uh, you know if the sound quality of this is truly uh, unbearable because uh, I'm not qualified to discern such a thing. Uh, oh, what do you did I already look at this? What is this? I have to cut the tape off, I guess. Okay, well. Be on the lookout for. I, I, I would. I could like get that off with my fucking teeth. That's one of the things that's frustrating about these games. Is like, you know, the level of detail and the lack of you know apparent interactivity you can have with the elements of it. Like he's like, I oh, know you have to do it this way and only this way, and there's no other way to do it. Even though like, you know, the materials and the environment seem to provide a multitude of ways that you could deal with something like tape. You know? Oh hey, what's up here? Okay, now we're cooking with gas. Keep out. When I see keep out, I keep in. And I go in. Oh god, no. No, okay, good. Yes. This is fine as long as I don't have to do anything. This is one of the few games where I'm like, I don't mind cutscenes, because like, find, I find this just stressful. I appreciate the artistry here. And I love horror, but like, like the, I don't know, putting me in the driver's seat just really makes me, uh, terrified, <laughs> easily. Cold, once again, brought to you by Cold Drinks. The impenetrability of the Cold Drinks Corporation is just astounding to me. The, the, the Trade Commission should be on top of these people. That's who would demonopolize them, right? And that is a word. God, I could really go over a cold drink right now. I'm a little parched myself. What is that? P Porbo? What does that say? That says Porbo, right? And this is... Uh... Wheat? Wheat soda? Wheat? Wheat? It's... Maybe it's... It appears to be cigarette soda. Maybe. Is that a... It might be a slit cigarette. At first I thought it was a stalk of wheat. But I think it is... That is where... That is cigarette soda. Cold drinks, uh, flagship brand, cigarette soda. I think that's a Tim and Eric bit. You got this. Uh, okay. Cool. Okay, I'm gonna pause this right now just to be positive that it records. <laughs> 